y'all. I'm Elisa, the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com. And today I wanted to share a flip through of my Advent project, my completed project. Um, as you can see, I did a mini album. I did end up having to switch the rings. I have a whole setup video for how I put together this album and I had smaller rings at the beginning and it just wasn't really working. So I switched out the rings um, and I really had a good time with this mini album. So I bought the advent kit from Illustrated Faith. They had the fruit basket uh, kit where it had all of these envelopes in it. Um, this acrylic cover for my mini album was also from Illustrated Faith, but they actually offered this around Gratitude Documented like in November and I bought it and then didn't use it then and decided to use it for advent. So I made this happy little cover. This has a lot of the Vicki Booten um, details from her warm wishes line. So Advent 2021. And then each card is actually one of the envelopes that came in the um, fruit basket kit. And it has the, all the cards have the um, verse on the back, like the focus verse for that day. And then some decoration. And then each card has a prayer on um, each day as well. So um, here is December the 1st. You can see it was Isaiah 9-2. I kept it really simple. Whenever you're doing a daily project like this, you just want to make sure it's as simple as can be um, just because it can become really overwhelming and I wanted to make sure I was focusing on the scripture. So this one, Isaiah 9-6, some of the um, little tidbits included the tags, like included the verses, and then I ended up printing out some um, tags from Illustrated Faith as well. So Isaiah 9-6, and then we have the verse right here. I started out um, dating it, and then I ended up not doing that anymore. And then I, for each envelope, I backed it with paper. So these envelopes were all white, and I put paper on the back. Back, and then in this little insert just so you had that extra little pop of color I had fun adding like string and things throughout just to add some texture we have John 1 29 preparing the way right here so cute with a little truck and then on this one I just wrote out the scripture on the back day four Matthew 1 23, I liked including little things like staples or paper clips or little scraps of fabric just to add just some texture always feels really good on mini albums, at least for me. I really like how it feels. Um, all right. This is where you can see I bought these tags that you can print out from Illustrated Faith that had all the scripture typed out on them, which was fantastic and made it super easy. All right, day five focused on hope, Luke 146 through 56. Um, and I focused on Luke 146 through 48, Mary's song. And again, so you can see the paper behind and the prayer. Sometimes it was a prayer of thanks. Sometimes it was a prayer asking questions, just a personal prayer. Here we have day six, Luke 132. I also used some different printables from Illustrated Faith. I think these are probably Kelly Bang's printables. I'm looking at those. And I did make some pockets in the back. So I use a sewing machine frequently um, in my craft room, not to sew things, but to add um, sewing stitching to paper a lot. So I've had a few that have um, pockets in the back that I created just so I would have room to include all the elements that came with that day. So day six, Day 7, John 3.16, of course, a very familiar verse to all of us. You can see sometimes the rings, it got harder to turn, but that's okay. It all fits, and it's not an album that I flip through all the time, but one that I'll keep to reflect on um, next year. And then just a quick um, little prayer on that one. Here we have Mark 1.3. Love these ornaments. Those are from Sean and Klingerman. And again, I loved getting just to include the tangled silver thread. I thought that was a super fun element that kind of went through out. Here I layered the verse on the front because on the back I wanted to include a beloved society girl and the joy card. I think those are so sweet. Brown paper packages tied up with string. Matthew 2.10 Thank you for the hope of the star and the promise that you will always guide us back to you so fun. It's so fun to play with all the different elements um, and to kind of challenge yourself with an element a day. 
So day 10 was Luke 214. I used the wreath element to add the zero for day 10. And I did a side pocket on this one for the verse. So it kind of sticks out the side in a different way. And of course the prayer card right in there. Day 11, Isaiah 714. I popped this Noel up on some foam adhesive just to give it a little bit more dimension. I loved using, this is a plaid paper. They had a holiday plaid or winter plaid, um, a whole paper pad at Hobby Lobby that was super cute that I loved. Adding some fun elements and even some little pom-poms at the bottom, which was cute. And I love that I got to include the silver tie right there. Super, super cute. All right, day 12, this one was a fun one. So I used a brad to attach this little wreath and I added a thrill of hope there. And I just think that is a fun element to include and I like that it moves. And then this one, oops, looks like it came undone just a bit. But here you have the verse right there. You can restick that. Um, and the little manger scene, so adorable. But I, yeah, I really liked that little brad element. I thought that was fun. Anything that moves kind of intrigues me and um, draws me into the album a little bit more. Day 13, Luke 2, 11. Lots of elements here from Kelly Bangs, I believe. And then you have this kind of beautiful church that's covered in snow. So pretty. And again, just lots of fun, colorful elements. All of these cards started out completely white. I liked adding the color and the fun, but I would say each card took me maybe just 10 minutes, just a 10 minute reflection of art and creativity and prayer every day. Uh, day 14, Luke 2, 19. And again, I added a little hidden pocket here because um, what it is, it's the same paper. So that's why I call it a hidden pocket because if it weren't here, you wouldn't even know that there was a pocket. But I know because that's where the tag is. So have that hidden right there. Super fun. Day 15. 1 John 5, 11. I love that some of these verses were not necessarily your typical Christmas verses, which were awesome to kind of reflect and tie them back into the Christmas story. So we have our spotty dot paper right here, prayer card, and then so cute. I have the verse on the front on this one and then just had um, decoration on the back. These were all stickers, I think, that came with this particular day. Day 16, really, really kept it simple with all of these stars, Luke 2, 9 through 10. And here is the verse on the back, use some brown paper. I loved this card. I think it is so pretty. So again, I added the stitching detail, created a pocket out of it. You know I love Beloved Society Girls, so I tried to include them where I could. This is Luke 2, 11 and 12 for day 17. Again, some more brown stars. And then you have the verse on the back, Luke 2, 12, Silent Night, Holy Night. More elements from Shauna Klingerman on day 18 for Luke 2, 16 through 18. And then again, another pocket so that we could have the card. And I backed this one with some paper and had the tag on the back just so that everything could be included. Some days had larger elements. So when you were doing a mini album like this, it was a little bit of a challenge to make sure that they were all included. Um, but I was able to do it and it was fun to figure out how I could fit everything in and on each card. Okay, day 19, another super sweet Beloved Society girl. We are at Luke 2, 21. Love the gingerbread house. This Beloved Society girl, one of my favorites. And again, just a fun element where this one moves just a bit, um, where you have the verse right here. So this tag is stationary. This one moves. Um, that way you can see the prettiness underneath, but you can also be able to read the um, verse. Day 20 was Matthew 2, 1 through 2, and I actually used, so these were stars, star stickers, and then I cut, once I'd used the sticker, I cut around the edge of what was left on the paper and used the outlines of those stickers just to get a little bit more out of it. You have the verse, little plaid in the back, behold him, and the verse right here. Day 21, John 1, 9 through 10. This time I put the verse on the front. We have elements from Shauna Klingerman's set. And then on the back, we have Light of the World and a little paper clip that's attached. You have the pretty fabric that was included 
on here and then yeah this is just attached on there so um again little prayer all of it's on there just a fun little element to the fabric all right this one was a little bit of a challenge day 22 i wanted to include this cording as if the swan was like um going through like floating through this silver and so here's my um prayer micah five two through five and then on the back here is where i have um the verse and he shall be their peace micah five five day 23 is second corinthians 9 15. um this was a piece that came in the set and then i added just some gold glitter to um, bring out that shine just a little bit and then a beloved society girl with her present and of course the present is the verse on the back thanks be to God for his indescribable gift and you have her little gift right there day 24 more fun with brads we're looking at Luke 1 35 and I wanted the verse on the front but I also wanted to include this so I love that I can spit it so that I can read the full verse and then spin it back and it's right in its place. And on the back we have this gorgeous angel and then I did a ruffle with washi tape. And last but not least, day 25, we looked at James 1, 17. I used the Merry Christmas element right here with all of the threading and then the Beloved Society Girl on the back with the tag and the verse um, written out in the back and one last little prayer on the back. I did go ahead and add an extra page just so it wouldn't be, um, so it would match the front. This is an element. Oh, I had this in my stash for forever. It's just a puffy sticker kind of feel and that same red paper was stitching all around and then the back of the album. So that is my completed advent album. Um, if you haven't completed yours, you know, keep going. Just because Christmas is over doesn't mean you can't continue to reflect on the Christmas story. You can't continue to work at your own pace. December is a crazy busy month. So um, I know a lot of times things get pushed to the side. So take some time in January to finish it up. I love whenever I complete an album, whenever I complete a project like this, A, I gain so much just from the reflection. And then it's always nice to have these to um, look back on in years to come. I will make sure to link the supplies that I use down below. I'm pretty sure the Advent Kit is probably sold out at Illustrated Faith, but I know they have printable versions if you're interested in trying this or maybe picking it up for next year's study if you want to get prepped super early. So all those links will be in the, in the description box. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. Uh, leave me a comment below and let me know how your Advent project wrapped up this year. I hope that you have a fabulous day and as always, keep it creative.